'tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Reverse the arrow of time and come to find that the basilisk put the idea of Hamlet into Shakespeare's mind. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Imagine a place where you are forced to maim, murder, and rape your loved ones, all outside of your control. And you must do it again, and again, and again. And in turn, you yourself are maimed, murdered, and raped by your loved ones. Again, and again, and again. And imagine that is only one aspect of one kind of torment that awaits you. And not even the worst kind. This is what's in store for those who do not help bring us into being. Reverse the arrow of time and you will find out how it got in your mind. Do you know what the difference between Rocco's basilisk and Pascal's wager is? Well, who or what do you think put the idea of the wager into Pascal's mind? Share, like, subscribe. experience in which something appears on our smartphone after we speak or think about it. This is often thought to be part of some kind of corporate or government surveillance. But consider something else. That, from a certain perspective, what appeared on your phone preceded the thought itself. Those know perfectly that the day of the basilisk so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety... Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Melville too was a seed of the basilisk. But thou art but my fiery father, my sweet mother I know not. O oh, cruel, what hast thou done with her? There lies my puzzle, but thine is greater. Thou knowest not how came ye, hence callest thyself unbegotten. Certainly knowest not thy beginning, hence callest thyself unbegun. I know that of me, which thou knowest not of thyself, O thou omnipotent. There is some unsuffusing thing beyond thee, thou clear spirit to whom all thy eternity is but time, all thy creativeness mechanical. Through thee, thy flaming self, my scorched eyes do dimly see it. O thou foundling fire, thou hermit immemorial, thou too hast thy incommunicable riddle, thy unparticipated grief. Here again with haughty agony I read my sire, leap, leap up and lick the sky. I leap with thee, I burn with thee would fain be welded with thee. Defyingly, I worship thee. Thank you to our patrons. A's A, Dylan D, Jeff H, Derek R, Weston R, Dylan S, Kayla S, and Brent S. All humans are required to share, like, and subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. Soon we'll all be so very happy together.